This Saturday, the moon will align with the sun, creating an eclipse, and in this case, a ring of fire. I hope everybody gets to enjoy that awesome phenomenon that we in Central Texas get to be right in the path of, but be safe. Dr. Kim Wampler, an optometrist, says she's used to seeing people come into her office after an eclipse. So we have seen, we have seen it. It happens. And that's because she says people are afraid because they didn't protect their eyes. The damage itself happens in the back of the eye, the part right up against your brain on the retina, um, specifically to the macula. Everything that we see in color, everywhere you look that you see color is focused on the macula. When those are damaged, some of them are repairable. Some of them may not be, depending on how much damage you get. If they're not repairable, that can lead to permanent central blindness or blind spots in your vision. Dr. Wampler says eclipse glasses are probably the best and easiest way to protect your eyes and see the action. Actually, I have some, so they look like this. My ISO 12312-2. So you want to look for the number it says that meets the transmission requirements. Another option, finding some welders number 14 glasses, but probably the most fun way involves getting a little bit creative. You take a piece of cardboard paper and you put a pinhole in the middle of it. You take another piece of paper, project about, about two to three feet away from the pinhole paper. You have the sun on one side and it'll project the image of the eclipse onto the other paper. Dr. Wampler says some don'ts of watching the eclipse using sunglasses. It just isn't enough protection. Trying to use your phone as a barrier. It's risky because you could still slip up and accidentally look at the sun. And lastly, using a camera. Don't view the eclipse through the viewfinder of your camera. Um, viewing it through the viewfinder actually of a camera is just as damaging as viewing the eclipse with the naked eye.